In the world of education, the one trait required to overcome the challenges is the trait of wisdom. Wisdom to get experience and knowledge of the past and use it to anticipate and be flexible and evolve and embrace the new future, the new normal. And to do that, we have a very wise chancellor. I always say a few lighthouses in the country will give me some satisfaction of the quality of higher education, but really it doesn't turn around the country. Higher education without quality may be a negative asset. India has a great opportunity to democratize our education and to train our youth so that they not only uh, contribute to the economic and social development of our country, but even at the global level, they can immensely contribute. Uh, immediately, gadgets and internet bandwidth cannot be given to uh, 30 crore students. But at least some of the innovative and, and out-of-box thinking should be used. When I meet many of my colleagues in this position as Vice Chancellor, I still find that they are still waiting for more dictates and more directives coming from the government. So we have to decide our own destiny. We have to make sure that we take a call and make it good. Digitalization, the pressure in in COVID, if a vice chancellor is prudent, the vice chancellor is wise, he will see things in totality and find out the best possible solution for future and the present also. Because everything in future depends upon what you decide today. It has to be a hybrid system. We will still like to have 20 to 30 percent of our coursework get finished through online, and practically much more severe problem has been the conduct of practical problems. Every student wants his career. If he's joining MBA program by paying 10 lakh, he wanted the, the career certificate. The placement only comes when he is fit for the industry. Things will be blended has been developed by podcasting through which we can reach to the children who are living in the world. So if uh, there is a will, there is a way I still believe. Artificial intelligence is particularly one thing which is going to change the way things have been done. And a lot of jobs would uh, go out, but then newer jobs would come in. I personally feel that best governance starts from the villages, the panchayats, the towns, it comes over to the mayors in the small town, then to the chief minister, and then to the central okay. government. So this is the best form of government. If I can meet some of the students' aspirations, then the students' teachers' relation makes the institution growing. If education has to help usher in tomorrow, it should not be afraid of change. We are implementing Community Connect that really this will be helpful in making the self reliant India. The the fundamental idea behind education is to create a thinking man. You have to think and find ways to overcome whatever comes in front of you so that you can lead and passion and the future to, to your life. This is the whole problem of implementation. Now, corruption is going to be implementation issues. Because the model which has been decided, the proper implementation is not having there. By 2024-25, the writing on the wall is the entire skill set requirement would have been transformed and that is required for making our young generation more employable. Innovative thinking should be there. Each student or a group of students, they'll think of a project and they'll be working on it maybe throughout the semester. At the end, they'll be making a presentation. The challenge is now for the admissions for the new students. As far as the old students are concerned, we are teaching online teaching. There is no other way out this year. Time is very important because uh, uh, students have got plenty of time at, uh, at home. They can pursue one of their courses as their career and other as their passion, whatever works for them. This entire COVID-19 environment and the ecosystem has created where the hands-on experience, creating foot soldiers, practical experience, that has taken a backseat. The student wants to have a top class for the first year, so what do we have to do for that? We have to prepare the teachers for the same notes. That means that they don't have the best things for the first year. Now we have to see the new institutions. And we are talking about the new normal. And the education system is going through a very different phase of life. And people are concerned their mindset has to be changed especially the mindset of management now it's the right time to invest also they have to buy new learning management system and they have to blend it with enterprise resource planning packages so that they can provide a value-based skill-based education to the students which would be practical one and innovative also you've learned from the old 
we continue to learn from you and we continue to learn from you. Thank you for being such a wonderful mentor, a guide by the side, as you say, for being a very worthy and wise chancellor.